Hello students, I welcome you all to this session on EMFT and wave propagation. So today in this session we are going to discuss about the tutorials or some questions based upon the first unit of EMFT and wave propagation. If you have still not watched the previous videos where I discussed about these concepts, I recommend you strongly to watch these videos first then come to this video. Because if you don't know the concept, its application would be really difficult and here we are just focusing upon the questions. I cannot focus upon the concepts again here. So because of the time constraints, we'll be seeing just the questions. So first question is find out the gradient of V is equal to X square e raised to power minus Y cos 2Z. So we need to find out the gradient. What is gradient? I hope you have seen the video on the del operator. What was the del operator? The del operator was equal to del upon del x ax plus del upon del y ay plus del upon del z az. So this is my del operator. Now what is gradient? Gradient was the first usage of the del operator. So how the gradient was symbolized? So gradient was used to represent like del of v. So here we have the scalar potential v. So I am representing the gradient as del of v. So here we'll be having v at all of the places. So the gradient of v will be represented as del v by del x ax plus del v by del y ay plus del v by del z az. So I hope this thing is clear. Now what we have to do? We have to just do the partial differentiation and we are pro in that we can do it very easily. So now what is del v by del x? So here if I need to find out del V by del X, I will be treating all of the Y variables and the Z variables to be constant. So these two terms are constant in this case and I will be taking constant outside. So I can write constant as it is. Now what is del of del X of X square? It is twice of X. Okay, so it was really easy. Now we need to find out del V by del Y. So I will be writing all of the terms containing X and Z as it is. So X square and cos 2Z are written as it is. Now it is multiplied by del upon del Y of e raised to power minus Y. So it will be equal to minus 1 multiplied with e raised to power minus Y. So this is del upon del y of e raised to power minus y. Now we'll find out del v by del z. So here x and y terms will be constant. So here we'll be having x square e raised to power minus y. And now we need to find out del upon del z of cos 2z. So I know it is 2 into sine 2z into minus 1. So here I'll be putting minus sign. Okay, so now I just uh, represent it. In the simpler way, so here I have 2x e raised to power minus y cos 2z plus, sorry it is minus because here we have minus 1 term as well. So minus x square e raised to power minus y cos 2z minus x square e raised to power minus y. So here we had 2 also sine 2z. So this is how I can find out the gradient. So the gradient was found out for the scalar v. Remember this, we, ha we have scalar v and for that we will find out the gradient. Now coming to the question number 2. The question number 2 states find the divergence of v at point minus 1, 1 and 2 where v is x y a x plus 2 y z a y plus 3zx az. Okay, so now I know the formula of divergence. It was the second usage of the del operator. So it is represented as del dot v. So what was del? Del was del upon del x ax plus del upon del y ay plus del upon del z az. Okay, now I have to take its dot product with v. So now V is represented as, let's suppose Vx Ax plus Vy Ay 
plus V Z A Z. So this is how my V is represented. Now when I take the dot product here, A X term will be multiplied with the A X term only. When A X term is multiplied with A Y term, I have the angle between A X and A Y to be 90, and the dot product of the two functions which are having the 90 degree angle between them will be zero because dot product is equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b cos of theta so if cos of theta theta is equal to 90 degree cos of 90 will be zero and the dot product will be zero now here will be multiplying the ax coefficient with the ax coefficient only so here will be having del v by del x plus del v by del y plus del v by del z so here we are just taking the vx component here we are just taking the vy component and here we are just taking the vz component so you must be very clear about the divergence and the gradient and the difference between the two okay so from here you can see we we were starting with a scalar quantity we were ending up with the vector quantity so here i had the vectors also ax ay and az here also ax ay and az so now here we are starting with the vector quantity and we'll be ending up getting a scalar quantity so find out this so del vx by del x so what is vx vx is xy so del of xy upon del x plus del of vy is 2yz upon del y plus del of vz is 3zx upon del z okay so now i know the differentiation so it will be equal to y because del x upon del x will be 1 so here will be having 2 of z and rest i am left out with del y upon del y which will be 1 so here will be having 3 of x okay rest is del z upon del z which is 1 now we'll be putting the required point so at the required point y is 1 plus twice of z is 2 plus 3 of x is 1 so it is 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 so we are getting the scalar quantity at the output so this thing should be clear the output of the divergence is the scalar quantity and the output of the gradient is a vector quantity now coming to the next question find the curl of v at point 1 minus 2 1 and v is given by this so v is x square ax plus 3xz square ay plus 2xz az so this is my v v is a vector we can find out the curl only when we have a vector so here we can find out vector and we can find out curl yes we can find out curl now what is the formula of the curl so del cross v represents uh, the curl so it was the third application of the del operator now here if i put the formula here will be having ax ay and az here will be having del by del x del by del y and del by del z and here will be having x square 3xz square 2xz so how i found it out this so here we had ax ay az unit vectors we directly put it here we had d del by del x del by del y del by del z we directly put it here we have ax ay and az if i see this what is ax a ax is the coefficient of ax unit vector which is x square ay is the coefficient of ay unit vector which is 3xz square az is the coefficient of az unit vector which is 2xz so i put all of the values now let's find out del cross v del cross v will be equal to this is a determinant i just need to find out determinant so ax i will be taking the i will be removing these two uh, this column and this row and i will be finding out the determinant so here we'll be having del of 2xz upon del y minus del of 3xz square upon del z 
minus ay now i will be removing this column and this row here i'll be having del of 2xz upon del x minus del of x square upon del z so here we have ax also put the unit vectors also whenever i forget so here i have az i'll be removing this column and this row so here i'll be having d of 3xz square upon del x minus del of x square by del y now we just need to simplify this so what is del cross v so here we have ax into so here we have the differentiation with respect to y y term is not there so here i'll be having zero so here we have differentiation with respect to z square so here i'll be having minus 2 into 3 so it will be minus 6 xz okay so here we'll be having minus ay differentiation with respect to x so here i am left out with 2z and here we'll be having differentiation with respect to z of x square it's a constant so it will be zero now here i'll be having az so this is plus plus az differentiation of 3xz square with respect to x so here i'll be having 3z square and here i'll be having zero now we'll be putting the values of x y and z so it will be equal to what is 6xz what is x and z x and z both are one so here i'll be having minus 6 ax okay so i put x is equal to 1 z is equal to 1 when both are multiplied with minus 6 i will be having minus 6 and ax was the unit vector so here i have ay what was z z is again 1 so it is minus 2 ay okay so now we'll be seeing the third quantity so here we have az and 3z square again so here we'll be having plus 3z square is 1 so plus 3 az so this is my del cross v and now from the output you can see the output is a vector quantity so the cross product will be resulting into the vector quantity only okay find the laplacian of the scalar field v where v is given as x square e raised to power minus y cos 2z so we have already found out del v by del x of this now what was the formula for laplacian laplacian was given by del square v and it was equal to del square v by del x square plus del square v by del y square plus del square v by del z square so here we have to see the second order partial differentiation of v with respect to x y and z so del square v will be equal to so if i take the second order differentiation with respect to x so here i'll be left out with 2 only and this is a constant with respect to x so i will be writing it as it is so e raised to power minus y cos 2z okay so now i hope this thing is clear or what i can do i have already found out del v by del x so now i can find out the del v by del x partial differentiation again so here you can find out this and again find out its partial partial differentiation or you can do directly so here we'll be having del square v by del y square so what is a del y square so with respect to y if i differentiate it again so e raised to power minus y is differentiation will be minus e raised to power minus y and if i differentiate it again with respect to y it will be equal to e raised to power minus y only because minus and minus will get plus so here i'll be having Having simply x square e raised to power minus y cos of 2z. So now here we have del v del square v upon del z square. So now we'll be adding the differentiation with respect to z. So here I'll be writing as it is x square e raised to power minus y. The differentiation of cos 2z is minus. 2 sin 2z 
now again if I have to differentiate it so here I'll be having minus into multiplied by cos 2 z so what is the final outcome del square v will be equal to 2 e raised to power minus y cos 2 z plus x square e raised to power minus y cos 2 z plus sorry here will be having minus minus 4 x square e raised to power minus y cos 2 z so this is my Laplacian. So I hope you understood each of the four type of uses of the Dell operator. If you still have any doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment or you can directly reach out to me or you can watch the previous video lectures on the basic concepts of Dell operator. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do push the like button. Thank you so much.